welcome back to the Be Joan Style channel. Today I am doing a thrift store challenge with Margot. I am so excited. Margot is a fellow YouTuber, creative. If you remember back in the summer, I did a thrift hangout day with Margot and Liv in North Carolina. And it was seriously such a fun, magical day. And since Margot is doing the YouTube thing as well, we thought it would be so much fun to come up with a way that we could work together and collaborate and create a video together. So I'm so inspired by Margot. She has such an incredible eye. She curates a beautiful home. She has a coffee shop that I was able to see. I think they're working, I don't think their restaurant's open yet, but they're working on designing a restaurant, her and her husband, and I got to see just a sneak peek of what that was gonna look like. And she's a magician. She seriously creates magic wherever she goes. And I'm just so inspired by her. And her home is incredible. I think when I was in North Carolina, she had just moved into a new home. So she's been working on styling up her new home. And it really has just such this gorgeous aesthetic of very, you know, British inspired. I think of like Bridgerton and Emma and some of those amazing movies. And so I love how she puts her home together and just really everything. So you just need to first of all, check Margot out, check her Instagram out right here, check her YouTube out right here. But today what we are both doing is basically it's almost like we're keeping each other accountable to do something that we both need to do which is there's probably an area in all of our houses that we're like oh i want to get to that i want to restyle that i want to do something to it and so margo and i have challenged each other to go out thrift hunt down vintage treasures and restyle and recreate a nook or area of our house that we're feeling like needs some extra love. And I have that area in my house. It's been there forever and I have done nothing to it. And I'm so excited because the day I'm taking that challenge to finally vamp it up. So I am going to go thrift and vintage hunting. Margot is also doing the same. So as soon as you finish my video, you can pop over to hers and see where she goes, the area of house that she is working on. I'm gonna put her links down below. But now we're gonna hop into what I'm doing. So let me show you the area of my house that needs some love. I'm showing you the real deal. The Halloween slash stuff on the bench <laughs> deal. But this is this area in my dining room that really needs some love. I have done nothing to it since we renovated our house really and so I want to restyle it. I still love this piece of art, but this just got thrown up there in the meantime. This chair is really fun, so I'm probably gonna leave that, but I just feel like everything else needs to be redone, reworked, and I'd love to find a new lamp to go right there. I still love this bench, so I'm going to keep that. But what I'm thinking is restyling this whole area. I'd love to do either some kind of tapestry here, maybe pieces that pop off the wall, so more structural pieces. I don't know if I'm gonna leave the plant or not, but definitely just a lot more happening here on this wall. So that is what I'm looking for, and that is my goal. So that's the area that I'm gonna be working with. I am really interested to see where Margot is, what she's styling and what she's doing, but. Anyways, that's my goal. I am going to head to some vintage stores. I feel like I need to get some base pieces from maybe like antique and vintage stores and then also head to a thrift store as well. But I think we should go. To tackle home decor with Margot, I am going to start in one of my favorite places when it comes to home decor. And that is Old Town Orange, which is a neighborhood near me that has a lot of vintage and antique stores. And I really love to come here first. One, to see if there's a few items that I want to buy, maybe, you know, a little bit more of investment pieces, and also to get ideas of other things that I wanna look for when I'm in the thrift stores. So we're gonna start here first because I do feel like there's a few grounding pieces I'm looking for that would be really tough to find in a thrift store. So I want to start here and see what treasures I can find. Full, 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 full of so many treasures. 
treasures. What I'm looking for, I think, is a lot of wall, not just art, but wall pieces that I can hang on the art. So sconces, just weird new little pieces to add on to that wall. So even things like these, I don't know if I'm gonna get these exactly, but I like that idea of that, you know, hanging on a wall. And there's actually two of those, so I think those are pretty cool. I really like this piece here. It's like a sconce you can hang on a wall. So that is something I'm thinking about. So many treasures here. I love these really quirky guys here. These are all for the wall. They're really interesting and kind of fun. I kind of like this guy here. I really love this piece. It's maybe a little bit not in my budget that I want to spend, but it's this whole piece here and then these two hanging ones. I think that's really amazing. Also really liking this mirror. It's really cool. I like the detail on top. I don't think this is necessarily my house. I actually think Margo. I, Margo, can't you see this in your house? This is so amazing, this piece of wood. Uh, it looks like a rod, like almost like a curtain rod probably. You hang on the wall, you put the curtain rod through it. Oh my gosh, Margo, I wish you were here with me. I really love fish items. My kids are really into fishing. And I think, yeah, this is a fish, right? <laughs> but it's also a vase pot. I think I'm gonna bring this home. I like the green detailing on it as well. Also really loving this vase, it's really large. You can kind of see it's next to a stool here. I think that's really beautiful. You can see that in my house. Just fell in love with this. I'm bummed though. It's definitely not what I want to spend right now, but this incredible gold sconce. Ah! Hold it out so you can see it a little bit better, but that's so incredible. It's actually a light bulb that plugs in too, which probably expl explains the price. It's not just like a piece on the wall. Oh, it's so amazing. Loving these are really cool wall lights. Wow, really incredible. If you're looking for any kind of um, brass, what am I trying to say? Things, uh, objects, busts, you know animals all of it the store has literally tons and tons of them i'm really liking this one it comes out from the wall a lot which i really like that detail it has a little mirror also you can put little candles there and there so that's an option for me also just a huge thrift store of clothes here as well okay I'm going to get this fish one here this cool Mexican sconce I'm also gonna get this green sconce and then I'm getting this really this cool one that you saw so curated here that they're inspirational in themselves so let's go see if you've watched my channel for a while you know that this is one of my favorite little booths in country roads it always has great workwear vintage pieces this is also where i got my olympics sweatshirt a lot of people have asked for that one and i don't think i'll ever you know give that one away but this is this is the booth where i found it only supposed to be looking for home but i mean look at this dress look at the sleeves oh, so good 
seriously, the styling here is just so incredible. Like, I love to just look at these shelves and see how they style things. I mean, these baskets with old sports equipment, so cool. I'm really digging this idea right here with the feathers. I don't know if they're selling the feathers, but I really, really like that a lot. I'm actually thinking one of the sconces would be interesting to put feathers in it instead of a plant. I love this. This is a vintage fossil stone and then it's set on this uh, stand. It looks very mid-century but that's so cool that it's actually a fossil. Fun. I love all the colors and all the gold. Very cool. I mean, this is definitely some Halloween decor inspiration if you're looking for any. I really actually love this. These are framed photography of, it looks like, you know, Joshua Tree area and different desert landscapes. Old photos. I think that's so cool. One thing I love the idea of is doing some fabric mural type hanging behind the piece of art in my dining room. I don't think this is the right one, but I want to show you guys how great this is. I really love this. I don't think it's the... I don't know. It might be too bold of colors for that room. I really love it. Okay, I just found this one and I'm really loving it. It has some of the colors in like the greens and the pinks and the blues. And even if I don't use it where I'm thinking, I feel like this is just a really good piece. Even if I just like throw it over my table or something, but I think I'm gonna get this one. Okay, I'm dying at all of this fish inspired stuff. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I love how they put all these old reels giving me lots of inspiration for my son's rooms. Okay, so I got the tapestry. I actually got those feathers there. I'm really excited about both. I'm gonna pop into one more store. I would love to find one piece of art that feels a little more kind of a juxtaposition of the other pieces I found. So let's go see if I can find that. I really love this piece of art. I think it's really interesting. That's really cool. I'm also a sucker for portraits and faces, and this is really kind of an interesting piece as well. I'm gonna dig through this and see what's here. I love that flower. <gasps> it's probably not in my price range. Okay, well, I be became obsessed with that blue feather wall piece, and I want it but it was not priced and I'm waiting to hear back if I can get the price on it, if I can buy it today, how much it is, all of that. So we have a cliffhanger happening right now. Will I get the feather wall piece? Because it's so cool, I'm obsessed with it. So I'm gonna head to a thrift store now. I would love to find a new lamp. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'm gonna go look and then maybe if there's any other little things that I could hang or put on some of the wall pieces to add some more personality. <laughs> okay, exciting news. I just heard back. I got a text from the store and I can get the feather thing today. So I'm going to snag it. Um, it's 150 bucks, but I think it's so incredible. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to head into this thrift store first and then go back and get the feather piece and then we're gonna zhuzh and play in that room and see what we can create. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. You can totally also see this in uh, Margot's house. Margo, couldn't you use this? I feel like it's so great. Also loving this table. Don't need it, but how cool are those chairs? Oh my gosh, I'm dying over these chairs. I do not need them, but how great are these? I love the fabric. There's two of them. Oh cool, look at these marble bases, which could be really cool. I don't need them again, but 
I really love those. These little lounge chairs, there's actually two up front as well, and then these two. Very, very cool. Also loving that mirror. Something I need more of is baskets. I really like this one. It has some green in it as well, which I think is really cute. I can put books or blankets, make it a trash can, but I definitely need more of these. Okay, I found this basket instead, and I like it so much better. It's got amazing hardware on it, this gold hardware, and it opens up. I feel like I can use this somewhere in my house, so I think I'm going to grab this. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm having the home decor hustle today. I'm like hustling to so many places. You can hear I'm out of breath. Um, okay, so I got that basket. I love it. I'm so excited to use that in my house. And now I am off to go get the amazing flower wall piece. And then we got to see how this is all going to play out in my house. Here's the finds. I came home with the tapestry this, which I'm not sure now if I'm going to keep this. I don't know. I kind of, it might work. And then the fish vase, these really fun feathers, this teal sconce, brass sconce with a mirror, the piece de resistance, the feather flower, and then this really amazing basket. And if you see the detailing on all of the hardware it's really beautiful so i'm really loving that now i gotta work on this area okay so this is where i landed with restyling a nook an area of my house using some vintage and thrift finds that i discovered yesterday and i <laughs> I'm so excited about what I found and I kind of saw a vision as I was looking for things and then I actually found the vision that I was looking for and then they came together in a way that I was hoping they would and I didn't know if they actually would. So probably the thing I'm most excited about is that incredible flower blossom. I was really looking for something really amazing to kind of put on the wall that wasn't necessarily a piece of art in terms of a painting or a drawing and so that was the you know the big ticket item that I can't believe I found and then of course I found all those little added pieces to go with my little nook and I'm so excited I definitely you know I have more always to do I want to add some curtains in here I probably want to add more around this amazing piece of art here and I'm not sure I'm gonna keep the tapestry above that piece I might put it on a rod I think that could be really cool or I might do some kind of art around this area so in the future I'll let you know you know where that piece ends up ultimately but this is so much fun and Margot thank you for collaborating with me on this I feel like I needed this little push and this challenge to actually do this area of my house it's been sitting there forever frustrating me because I felt like I haven't done anything yet since we renovated our house which now it's been two plus years and so finally to kind of start judging and playing in this area of my house feels really fun and exciting to like bring new life here so I now I'm so excited to go and check out Margot's channel to see what she did I'm sure it's amazing if you don't follow Margo, if you don't subscribe to Margo, you absolutely have to do that right now. So just head down to the link down in my description box, click on her video to watch and see what she has done. And then you just need to follow her everywhere on Instagram and YouTube. She's really just pure magic. And so I'm so excited to see what she has come up with and I'm sure it's going to inspire me massively. And this really got me excited because I feel like this has me wanting to fuss and fuss over my house a little bit more. And it is funny, I, I always want to, but the time it takes to actually look for all these pieces takes a lot of time. And so um, I don't always get to it. So it was fun to focus on just my home for today's video. So that is it for today. <gasps> really quick, I almost forgot to show you where the basket ended up. So let me take you over there and see 
where that landed. Coming into my living room, you can go check out my living room update tour. This is a little area here that I've got some fun little pieces and I ended up putting the basket here at the edge, which I really love. I can put more throw blankets in it and also throw my coffee cup on it. Again, it might float around my house into di different locations, but for now, this is where it is. Wiley, what do you think? Wiley, what do you think? Do you like it? Yes. Okay, so that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I have new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And finally, always play dress up and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.